Traveler, please, over here. It has been a while since you joined the Adventurer's Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Hmm, is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. Wait! Do you mean... Does that stranger's face look anything like hers? Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even has an eye patch. Seriously? <laughs> How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I just can't prove that you're related anyway! That stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's requests. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big help on your journey. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, after all. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. He stands guard at the city gate, so he may know something about that stranger. I wish you every success, adventurer. Ah, uh, honorary knight. Is something the matter? A stranger with an eye patch. Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, I remember seeing someone like that. A blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. He was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh, I lost him pretty quickly. Still... I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual looking person. That might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? <sighs> Anyways, oh yeah, he was at Wagner's smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. What? You need something? Here. I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's share. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> the Angel's share? Well, Master Diluc probably has his eye on that stranger, too, then. Anyway, let's go to the Angel's share and have a look. What's the hurry? Ah, 
Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get- Say what? What's up? What's up? Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Hmm. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly trolls with just one punch! Then Paimon nominates you! But anyway, is there like a general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the City of Freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. Ooh, ooh, Papa, let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just... Get back to work. Hmm. I'll protect you. Come in, take a seat. We have a few specials today at Angel Share. Jewels from Liyue. Come take a look. What'll it be today? The strongest fighter? I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone... It would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean... No. It's a bard's razor-sharp intuition. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? So... 
girl. What's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. Uh, I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, uh, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Mondstadt's famous wine, too? Uh, <clears throat> the strongest fighter of them all? Well, that would be Gene, obviously! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Gene is so strong, she can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her <clears throat> self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. This wine is. Hey, I'm doing some adventurers training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? Hey, I'm doing some advent. You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all, Stanley. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Yeah! Bam, wham, pow! Patton was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever going to find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. Don't worry, though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. 